welcome back to Create with Chidex. I'm Chidema and today I'm going to be showing you how I made cakes that look like grilled corns. If you like realistic cake videos such as this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get to know when I post new videos. Now let's get started. I'm starting this cake by first placing a real corn on top of parchment paper and tracing out the shape. Then using my scissors, I cut out this template. So I'm going to be using this template to cover out my cake. I've got a round piece of cake here. It doesn't actually matter what size or shape of cake you use. So I'm using my template to cut out rectangular pieces from this piece of cake. I cut out three rectangular pieces of cake and I'm going to be using these three pieces to make two pieces of corn. So I'm taking one of them and cutting it into two. Then I'll take one each and add it to the remaining two rectangular pieces of cake. Basically, you need your rectangular pieces of cake to be higher than that of the real corn to give room for carving. So now that I've got that, I'll glue the pieces together with buttercream. Now it's time to carve my cakes into corn shapes with one end thinner than the other, just like you see in a real corn. I'm going to carve the entire cakes as slim as I could possibly go because I need to leave enough room for the buttercream and the modeling chocolate corn kernels, otherwise the finished corn will be too bulky. My heart is wired. it doesn't make any sense to me. Next, I'm going to cover the two cake corn ears with a thin coat of buttercream. I inserted a skewer into the cake to help me move it around while I'm coating it with buttercream. After covering the cakes with buttercream, I'll wrap each one inside parchment paper. Then I'll put it inside the freezer for about 20 minutes before I move on to the next step. I'm gonna make my corn kernels with yellow modeling chocolate, which I color mashed with the real corn. I tried two different methods to make my corn kernels. In the first method, I dusted a pearl necklace mold with some corn flour. Then I filled it with the yellow modeling chocolate. After filling it, I brought them out. Then I press them together in groups as shown here. Before attaching them to the cake corn cob. Before making and attaching more kernels, I flattened out some modeling chocolate. Then I cut and attached circular pieces to fit the ends of the cake corn cob. After covering the ends of the corn, I continued making the chocolate kernels using the first method that I showed. However, I didn't really like this method so I decided to try another one. In the second method, I took out small bits of the yellow modeling chocolate, rolled them individually in my palms. before pressing them together in groups. You can choose to use any of these methods still, depending on your preference as they both work well. I just preferred the second method because I felt it was faster for me. Apart from it being faster for me, the sizes of the kernels were different and also irregularly shaped, making it more authentic. I realized at some point that the kernels weren't sticking properly because the cake was cold and it made the buttercream solid and less sticky. 
So I started adding a thin layer of buttercream on each row just before adding the row of kernels. I didn't bother adding the chocolate kernels to the bottom part of the cake because it wasn't going to be visible. What I did was to add a few kernels at the edges to give the illusion that there were kernels at the bottom part too. Next, I used a small circular cutter to create the char, woody ring and the pit texture at both ends of the cob. I made some herbs for my corn, first by painting edible wafer paper with green gel color and vodka. Then I set the wafer paper aside to dry. For the smoky chard look, I painted some kernels at random with brown and a bit of black edible colors. I used the brush with a tiny tip to paint these colors on so that I don't get too much of it on the kernels. Also where I felt the colors were too much, I used the paper towel to dab off some of it. I also wanted my grilled corn cakes to have that glistening melted butter look that pulls you in and makes your mouth water. <laughs> So I coated the kernels with a mixture made from two parts corn syrup and one part vodka. By this time my edible wafer paper had dried so I used the scissors to cut it into tiny pieces and then sprinkled it all over the cake. And there you have it, the finished grilled corn cake. Now let's go ahead and cut this cake. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!